Hi everyone, welcome back to Learning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So guys, this is the continuation video of data engineering playlist. As you know, in my previous video, I covered my data engineer role interview experience with Paytm. If you guys haven't checked my previous interview experience of Paytm, then click on the i button and check that video. I hope it would have helped you to prepare yourself accordingly. And in this video, guys, I am going to talk about my data engineer role interview experience with world's number one consulting firm that is McKinsey and Company. Make sure you watch this video till then because it will help you to prepare yourself for the data engineering interviews. After watching the complete video, tell me in the comment section which interview round you like more. And if this series is helping you, then hit the like button, share this video with your friends who are preparing for data engineering roles. And if you are new to the channel, then definitely hit the subscribe button, press the notification icon so that you never miss an update from the learning bridge. So guys, I joined McKinsey in December 2019 when I was making my second switch. Although I spent only four months in McKinsey and then moved to Amazon, but that is a very, very different story. I will create a one dedicated video about all the switches I have done till now and what were the reason behind all the switches, what was the prime reason basically. I will talk about that. So guys, before jumping into the interview process, I would like to mention few things about McKinsey which I experienced there and I liked about that. First, the work culture in McKinsey. Second is diversity in projects because most of the time you will be working on different client projects. So definitely you will gain good expertise or good knowledge in different different domains like sometimes healthcare, finance or banking, any kind of that. Third one is its perks and rich standard. Fourth one is on-site opportunity. So most of the time you will be working at client location and those clients are across the globe so even that is also a very very good part because your stay will be in five or seven star hotels doesn't matter the project length is six months or even a one year you will get a frequent business class travel so that is pretty amazing and i found it really really fascinating so this was something which i wanted to highlight but now let's jump on to the actual part so in this video i will discuss about the entire interview process of mckinsey and company for the data engineer role like how many rounds were there and in each round what was the questions and topics they were asking me so first part how did i apply there so as when i was actively looking for my second switch then one of my friend recently joined mckinsey and company as a data engineer so i asked him to refer me in his organization and they liked my resume and they shortlisted for the further interview process so in the interview process the first part was online coding test the online coding test was about one and a half hour and it was hosted on hacker rank in the coding test there were around 8 10 sql queries and two coding questions in python in the online coding test there were seven eight questions related to sql queries they provided the sample data sets for every question and i had to write queries for different different problem statements and those sql queries were mostly related to complex join, nested joins, group buys and window functions. So I was able to solve all of the SQL queries and there were two coding questions which I had to code in Python. First was very very normal something related to arrays and it was pretty easy. I was able to solve it. Next question was related to Python regex. I mean there was a question where I had to use Python regex to parse different different statements and perform the functions accordingly. So that was also pretty simple guys. I was able to solve all the questions. I would say the level of online coding was quite average. So if you are good with your basics then definitely you will be able to solve the coding questions and the SQL queries. Next round was technical telephonic discussion. In that round interviewer asked me about my background like previous work what kind of projects and tech stack I have worked upon. Then he started asking about some questions related to basics and fundamental of Apache Spark. Like what is Apache Spark, what is RDD, why it is fault tolerant, what is lineage graph, what kind of optimizations are available in Spark applications. Some kind of questions. They were very very basic and previously I worked on Cassandra so there were some basic questions related to Cassandra as well. Then he started asking about differences between rank functions in SQL and he also asked me to give an approach to solve the given SQL query that query was related to running some and I had to solve it using window functions so I was able to give the correct idea about my approach so he was looking satisfied with my approach and after two three days I got a call for on-site interview process in the third round of interview process it was basically a kind of machine coding round I mean they given me a laptop where everything was already set up like Jupyter notebook spark cluster and all 
and there they basically provided few sample data sets and there were around 8 to 10 questions which i had to solve using pyspark and the good point was they allowed me to use the official documentation let's say somebody get confused about the standard functions or some parameter related things then they allowed me to use the official documentation page of pyspark and guys those questions were really really simple i mean i had to use the basic transformations and aggregation functions which were available in pyspark those questions were basically related to that like join of different data set and to produce a aggregated output and something like that so if you are having a good and basic understanding of apache spark framework its basic transformation and aggregation function then definitely you will be able to solve those questions in the fourth round of interview process first they gone through with the solution of machine coding round and there were some discussion around my approaches why you use this function what is the reason behind it so that kind of questions around there then they started asking me some questions related to sql queries like basic differences between the rand functions after that they given me a sample data of music app and they were asking some random questions on top of that data set which i had to solve and mostly those queries were around window functions rank functions aggregation and joins after that they asked me two coding questions which i had to solve on the whiteboard first question was very straight forward you are given a singly linked list and you need to detect a loop in it and guys i'm pretty sure you guys might have seen this question before and same was with me i solved this question previously and i was able to solve at that time as well and next question they asked me you are given a sorted array and you need to create a binary search from it so again it was a very very basic and straight forward question and i was able to solve it very quickly i written down the recursive approach to create a binary search tree from given sorted array so that was all about the fourth round of interview process and i would say difficulty level was good because there were good combination of discussion technical discussion sql and the coding question so let's talk about the fifth round of interview process so this round happened with a very very senior guy i mean he was having around 17 and 18 years of experience with mckinsey and he was the manager of one of the analytics team there so guys this interview round was not too much technical i mean he was trying to judge my aptitude solving skills and there were very very basic questions like whatever we read in our school days about mathematics mean median modes and complex things mathematical stuff so there were very very basic questions and but tricky too so that round was very very interesting like he was asking very very basic questions about data analytics in mathematical terms and as a aptitude problem so that was the only thing he asked me in that round and after that there was a sixth and final round of the interview process with the head of data engineering team he was also a very very senior guy and spent a very very good amount of time with mckinsey and guys that round was very very interesting and very interactive i didn't feel any kind of nervousness because interviewer made me feel so comfortable there there were questions around my previous experience and previous projects i worked upon in different employers so he was asking about the problem statements of different projects and what kind of challenges i faced what was my observation and learning from different projects if i use any interesting component and i did anything extraordinary in that project then what was that how i did that what was the reason behind using that component how it added some value in my project those kind of behavioral questions after that he asked me one questions where he wanted to check my designing skills like how good am i with the big data and data warehousing skills so the problem statement was like you are given different different stores in a city or in a state and you also know the geographical locations of different people then i had to design a data warehouse for that problem statement and then there were some random questions some twists in the problem statement and i had to modify my warehouse accordingly so this kind of question he asked me at the end so i was able to give a decent approach to him about this problem statement and i designed the data warehouse for that as well so that was all about the last and final round of the interview process there was no hr round as such after one week i got a call from hr that my feedback is positive and they are moving forward with my candidature so we had some discussions about the compensation and all and again after one week i got a offer letter from there 
सो गाइज दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट माई डेटा इंजीनियर रोल इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद मैकेजी एंड कंपनी ओवरऑल इट वॉज वेरी वेरी गुड एक्सपीरियंस एंड द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस वॉज वेरी डिसेंट आई ऑल्सो एंजॉयड वर्किंग देयर वॉट एवर टाइम आई स्पेंड देयर इट वॉज वेरी वेरी गुड एंड इंटरेस्टिंग आई गॉट गुड टीम मेट्स टीम वॉज वेरी सपोर्टिव सो ओवरऑल इट वॉज अ वेरी वेरी गुड एक्सपीरियंस वर्किंग देयर आई होप वॉट एवर एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव शेयर इट विल हेल्प यू टू प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ फॉर डिफरेंट रोल्स इन डेटा इंजीनियरिंग डोमेन एंड फॉर डिफरेंट कंपनीज सो इफ इट हेल्प यू देन डेफिनेटली हिट द लाइक बटन एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर अदर फ्रेंड्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द डेटा इंजीनियरिंग इंटरव्यूज एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल देन हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन आई कैन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट from the e-learning bridge so let's meet on next wednesday could be another interview experience of data engineering role or something very very interesting of this data engineering field till then stay safe stay home